guys, so we're out in the woods today. <laughs> Aura's pulling on the leash. Uh, yeah, I'm out in the woods with little Miss Aura. Where is she? There she is. Out in the woods with little Miss Aura, and uh, I was just actually cutting in the trail. There's a lot of stuff, like, has been growing, and even last year when I was on the trail, it was kind of hard to get through some places, so I brought in my uh, pruners, and I was cutting in some areas of the trail. I'll show you on the way back where I cut it in, so it's easier to get into the woods from my house, because there's, like, a little thicket that you have to go through. So I just, like, just, like, cut some of the little saplings and all sorts of stuff that was down there blocking us from getting through. I'm, like, out of breath now, just from pulling up roots and weeds and stuff and cutting branches. <laughs> But now we're gonna go for our little walk. This is our first uh, spring walk. So we're just checking out the woods after a long, long winter. Uh, me and Aura here. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for a little walk and see what the woods is like. Uh, first little bit of spring here. So here we go. I don't know if you remember last season, um, in the early fall, we were out here in this section, and I mentioned how um, I thought it looked like there was water here in certain times of year, and it looks like I was correct. Definitely water here. Aura's enjoying it. <laughs> huh, you trying to drink the creek water? A little natural spring here. Hey! Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's a little like drainage pipe down there. Aura, you want to go through the pipe? <laughs> Hi! I think we were on that side before she was walking around in there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice cool water. Hi, hey, want some water? <laughs> you gonna go through? I can't let you go through. She's actually trying to go through. <laughs> I knew she would. You can't go through because you're on a leash, you'll get stuck. You can't go through, you'll get stuck. If you weren't on a leash, I'd let you. <laughs> she likes to um, do tricks. She goes through tunnels and hoops, like agility type stuff, so. <laughs> All right, miss. And get your foot stuck. And untangle her foot. I'm sorry once again if the quality on this video ends up bad. I'm on my phone camera because that's kind of just what I ended up taking in the woods. I didn't really have this walk planned. I just kind of started wandering. Wandering, wandering. Just kind of started wandering. Very nice day though. Had a sweater on but I was able to take it off. Are you still pooping? You're like walking around pooping. There you go. <laughs> Keep going. We do definitely have to be on the lookout for coyotes because they've been in the area. Um, a few weeks ago, they were howling in my backyard. Like literally I could hear them right outside my window. So they're definitely in these woods, <laughs> but um, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine, right Aura? We'll be fine. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Lions and tigers and bears and coyotes and wolves and foxes and lynxes. Oh my! What you find? Oh, you liked this area last time we came. I know what it is about this little area with all these dead trees. She loves it. She loves it. This is last year she was ripping apart this piece of wood. That's why it's all damaged. That was you last year. You chewed that up. <laughs> Made your mark. Hi, excited girl. Hi. Looks like a squirrel was here, huh? Oh, oh yeah, she loves this spot. She loves this spot. <laughs> yeah. Did you find a nice spot? Yeah, you love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Happy girl. Is that all the nuts? Are you rubbing in the nuts? You rubbing and rolling? It's okay. <laughs> you boom. Oh. Very wet. <laughs> Did you find a puddle to drink? It's kind of probably gross. Make sure you get your shots. Oh, Ooh, I stepped in sludge. Ooh, I stepped in sludge. Where you going? Come on, don't get in the bushes. You make me get all tangled. Come on, come on, don't go in the bushes. Get out of there. Woo woo. Do we have to walk in the sludge? <laughs> what are you doing walking in the sludge? What are you doing walking in the sludge? We gotta get to higher ground. I don't wanna get my feet all muddy. Look at that. All this sludge. Ew. Sludgy sludge. 
Look at this sludge. Look at this. Sludgy if you sludgy sludge. <laughs> go up here. So you can walk in the sludge. I'll come up here. She can go down there. <laughs> okay, we'll go up there. It's nice up there. Oh, just make me walk in all this stuff. I know it's clearer in between here, but it's all sludgy. Not going that way next time. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, sludgy. You hear those squish? You hear those squishies? It's my feet. God, I have good boots. <laughs> She's smelling. that big tree that one's in another one of my videos too <laughs> the same video that I'm talking about before where we went up on this hike <laughs> Can you find another place to roll <laughs> come on wackadoo Is that a cool big rock? Massive, massive rock. Ooh! Hi, sweet girl. Come on. She says, Why are you stopping to take pictures? Why are you stopping? Yeah, there's so many cool walking trails up in this area. I didn't go this way last time I went the other way. So I like to try different routes. The trail just goes every which direction, like branches off. So. It's down over there. Back up there. Where are you going? Hi. Pretty girl. Queen of the castle. Come on. up to a little stone wall. And what's cool is a lot of these old stone walls in New Hampshire used to be people's like property lines. <laughs> like people could have a little um, house or cottage back in the woods or whatever. And they have their whole property lined off with rock walls. What you looking at? You looking in the holes? What's in all those holes? have a little blood sugar. My hands are all shaky. I don't have like diabetes or anything, but I just get kind of, um, I have chronic fatigue syndrome and I get like, I don't know, shaky if I'm tired or haven't eaten enough, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. My body's weird. Comes out to a pretty nice little area here. I haven't gone this way yet. Like I said, we just moved up here and, um, we just moved to this road in September. So I've been like checking out all the trails in this area behind my house. It's pretty cool because every every direction I go, I come across something new. It's really cool to be able to have all this beauty and wonder in your own backyard. Not everyone gets to have something like this, so it's pretty cool. Oh, look, see? Now, I could either go this way or another day. I could take the trail and go up, but I'm tired and I don't want to go up and around, so I'm just going to keep going on the flat path. <laughs> There's another big puddle. Can you figure out how to go around this aura? Go around the side here. Oops. I don't want to go in the water. Oh, did you find a chipmunk? 
Find a chipmunk or a mouse. What'd you find? What'd you find? She loves chasing little critters. Huh. Did you hear the little critter? Huh? Is it a little critter? I'm just oh, look at that. <laughs> I love, I love I little burrows time. like this too. Look in the bottom of this tree it's here. Look. Let's see what the animals are coming up in there. No, it doesn't actually go in, does it? No. It does look like something was living in there, though. Something hit out there and ate a nut. <laughs> something hit out there and ate that nut. Hi, girly. I'm gonna go back in a minute because I'm getting tired. I'm gonna do like a 40 minute hike. Oh. Opening up to a little clearing or something. Sometimes you need to go. Yep, see, we're getting closer back to civilization because there's some <laughs> some wheels and stuff. <laughs> and then it looks like it goes that way or back this way. Come on, we'll go back this way. Come on. So this way we'll go back towards the house, I think. Someone's doing lumber down here. This must belong to the big farm behind my house. Come on, Bubba. People throw their junk up here though. Someone's a random old bike. Random old bike. Gross. <laughs> Sometimes I like looking at like all the weird stuff people dump in the woods. <laughs> now I'm not sure if this trail is actually gonna lead back around. Sometimes they loop back around. Or if I'm gonna have to turn around and then just go back. Tell. It looks like it's coming up somewhere down there. So we'll see. We'll see where it comes out. <laughs> if it's not near my house, then we'll turn around. This tree eaten by she's been eaten by woodpeckers. Hi! Come on, girly girl. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Oh, yep, see this? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's coming up into the farm. That's fine. Let's see, there's a house. know where I am. I wonder whose house this is. I don't know where I am, but I wonder whose house this is. Well, it's a pretty view though. My goodness. Just a pretty view. Well, this is where it came out. Pretty view. This might be the farm. I don't know. Oh. Hi, we're just hiking. <laughs> Here through the woods. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> What's the address here? Oh, you don't know what road address? No. Okay. I'll just turn around and go back the way I came. Sometimes if it leads out, I try to just hit the road and circle back around. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that then. <laughs> Um, I came in from Knox, but I went all the way through the woods, so... What's your name? I, uh, Ariana. Yeah. We just moved in in September, so I'm not like... I'm just checking out all the trails around. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. Very pretty property. Head back down the road. Come on. All right, so we are still on Knox Mountain, which is good, because uh, we can just walk back down the road. Well, it's good to know that that trail circles around. Come on. Hurry up. Beautiful view up here, though. Top of the world. Okay, or come on. Oh, yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, we're literally in the right house right after this if you go down and around. So, so that was a good walk. I love when walks are able to do a circle and like not have to turn around. I don't know. I have a thing. I don't like to have to turn around and go back the way I came. I like to see a whole different route. I know it's odd, but I'm an odd person. If I can do a full circle on a hike and see like pretty much completely new surroundings or at least not have to turn around and go back the way I came in that same trip. Like obviously you might end up doing the same hike, but as long as you don't have to turn around when doing that hike and you can come from a direction and circle around and end up back where you came from. I just love that. It's like a weird sensory thing. Oh, isn't that a little creek? 
She likes running water. What's so pretty? Is this a pretty creek water? They're off, what is this, hair? Some sort of animal down here. <laughs> I don't know, it's like pine needles or something. I'm like, what is that? Looks like hair. See a hairy bush. This is cool. This is gonna be like the freshest water you ever did see. Watch. You can find a spot where it just comes right off the rocks. It's gonna be up there. Oh, I wanted to like crawl through here. I'll get some water off the rocks. Here, there's some fresh water right there. tastes really good. <laughs> Nothing like that cold mountain water. It would be better if I had something to put it in. I'm very thirsty from walking. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, like refreshed. I don't know why, but I just love drinking water like that. It makes me feel so nice. It's like so cold and refreshing. So good. And I'm not really worried about bacteria. Um, we get it right off the rocks. If you notice the rock was like mossy, so you let the like mossy rock filter anything out of it. When it comes like that, straight down off the rocks. It's moving water. It doesn't have time to sit and grow bacteria. So yeah, so oh, I threw my sweater back on because it was getting like a little bit, a little bit chilled after drinking the water. So as you can see, I uh, <laughs> didn't even really plan to do this video at all. I'm just kind of doing stuff off the cuff here just as I was out here. But yeah, I didn't do my eyebrows or anything. That's why I'm like half covering my face as much as I can because I know I look a mess. But uh, yeah, it's fun. I just love, um, I love coming out here and doing this kind of thing. I love going for my hikes. Here's some more running water. That actually would have been a good spot because it's coming right down off the, um, there's a good trickle. See, there's a nice good trickle right there that you could have, I like getting it off the mossy rocks better, but that would have been just as clean. And it's in a spot where it would have been easy to like put something under it to catch the water. Huh, you getting more water? Yeah. I wanted to look at what's in this. This is this little thing over here. Look, it's a, like, it's an actual like hollowed out tree stump. It's in here. But mushrooms thrown in there? Creepy. Creepy, creepy. It's like weird mushrooms. Yeah, that's odd. Someone was living in there. There again. Lots of nuts. Someone's living in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, lots of nuts in there. No one's home. A little animal had their home in there. There's a little cubby back there maybe for having their babies. I don't know. Cool. I, uh, I just thought that was cool. Thing. <gasps> Hi! Are you getting all upset? Did mama ditch you? Alright, I think hopefully coming to the bottom of the road soon. Or well we're coming to the crest of the top and then it goes back down. Yeah, so we should be back down soon. We'll be back home soon. Home soon. Home soon. Yep, there's the road. And then my house is up there that way. What you looking at? What you looking at? Is that a birdie? Was that a birdie? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Lots of mud because it's mud season in New Hampshire. This is what happens when people try to drive. <laughs> I like haven't been going out at all. It's been so crazy. Yep. And there's the farm down the road that we like to go by and visit the horses. And oh yes, they finally put some gravel on the road because everyone was getting stuck in the mud. So they just did this because it's been bad. And there's my house up there. Ta-da! Come on, Bubba. Come on, Aura. Let's go, let's go. Come on. All right, I am dead after this. <laughs> it's a little longer of a height than I wanted to, but that's okay. It's more like an hour, hour and a half than 45 minutes, but that's okay. Huh, that's okay. Goat's waiting for us up there? Mm hmm? Yeah. You ready to go home? Yeah. <laughs> up this way. It's funny she gets all freaked out trying to go through, trying to get back into the yard, in and out of the yard because of the electric fence. So she'll like have to run through. I had to make her run to get her out. 
I guess we didn't get to see the part I carved in of the path because we went in a circle instead of back around. So, I mean, we, we went around instead of back the way we came. So I don't get to show you where I carved in the path, but another day, another day, huh, Laura? Come on. Oh, there's the goaties. Lily, whiskey. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, goaties. Hello. They're funny. That's how they rub and give themselves scratchies. They always do that in the spring because they get itchy, dry skin over the winter and they're trying to get their sheddies out. See all that? <laughs> I brushed them, but they still got more. They all, there's always going to be more. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Hi, cutie. Hi. Hi. Hi, Lil. Yeah. Hello. You wagging that tail. You a happy boy. Oh, I need a drink. Yeah, he's a happy boy. He's a happy boy. He's a happy boy. I gotta get you something to drink, huh? Hold on. I gotta go get Aura her collar back on for her electric fence. And I gotta go get some water for the goats and for me. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, there's your new toy. Alright. Aura's box that she loves. And you gonna go get you some water? Here, you go put this back on. Put this back on. It's for your electric fence. <laughs> yeah, you need that for your fence. Alright, alright. Alright guys, uh, we're in for the night, or for the whatever. I don't know, I can't think. Um, but we're in now. We're done with the walk. So, Laura's getting her food and water. And I'm gonna go do the same, especially something to drink. So, uh, see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff that you do. For me, because I would really appreciate it. Do all that stuff that you can do to help me, because I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Oh my god. Okay, here's just a quick update after I got in from my hike. Um, it appears that I am still allergic to everything in the forest, because uh, just came in and this is what's happening to my arms. This big patch of red up on my shoulder. I don't know if you can see that. There's this big patch of red that's coming up. <laughs> and then a little bit down on my forearm. And then my hand. And I feel some on my leg, even though I have pants on. And somehow I'm even feeling some up on my leg here. <laughs> It's just crazy. So yeah, I, it's like, I love hiking, but this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> love hiking, love gardening, love doing all sorts of outdoor stuff, but like, the outdoors doesn't love me back. <laughs> one way, one side relationship here.